okay so we are going to discuss the how delay occurs and how packet loss occur and what is the throughput in the network okay so if you do remember so we uh, we know that the internet it can be divided into two parts one is called access network network edge and one is called core network okay so this is network edge this is network edge this is network edge and this is the core network part in the core networking we discuss that to move the data from one router to another router okay so there are two approaches one is called circuit switching one is called packet switching in circuit switching before exchanging the data a circuit is established the link is res is reserved the bandwidth is reserved the resources are reserved okay after the resources are reserved then the data is transmitting then the data starts transmission so there is no loss why because in circuit switching the link is reserved first the path is reserved so there is no loss there will be no loss for example if the Imran Khan is coming from Lahore to Islamabad so the whole road is reserved whole road is reserved and there is no one so only the Imran Khan is moving up okay so its delay only depends on its moving speed but there will be no loss and delay is guaranteed why because if the if Imran Khan is moving from Lahore to Islamabad and the road is reserved the road is cleared by the police and the Imran Khan is moving on so it will move it will it will um, the its delay only speed depend on its speed its moving speed and its moving speed is 100 meter so it is uh, if it is 100 kilometer per hour so it means that it will move it will uh, it will uh, reach within a specified time okay so but another so this circuit switching it is used in ptcl in public switch telephone network and mobile phone okay so we have discussed and the packet switching tick it is like gt road okay so there can be loss maybe the, you have an accident with someone else and you you are lost okay and delay is not guaranteed sometime you can move from lahore to islamabad in six hours but sometime it can take 10 hours sometime it can take two hours <laughs> okay so it depends on the congestion okay so it is a so we have discussed this so the these are their differences in the internet we are using packet switching store and forward and circuit switching it is used in public switch to the phone network or it is used in mobile phone now but we are discussing the internet so we are discussing which is using packet switching technology okay so we have discussed this packet switching and circuit switching in discuss so packet switching it is used store and forward when a bit of a message is arrived it is stored until the whole message is arrived then the message is examined checked that what is a source it is what is its destination it is and then the packet is moved on to the next link but in the circuit when one bit is arrived it is directly moving okay there is no store and forward why because already the link is reserved okay so the delay is guaranteed but here the delay is not guaranteed okay so in packet switching it may happens that the two uh, the two packets they arrive a router and the router there are already some packets in the queue for example in the gt road you may arrive to a junction to a choke where already some vehicle are waiting for their turn okay so in this case there will be queuing queue at the router 
so when the packet arrives and the packet are arriving and here the why the packet queues because the outgoing link its bandwidth is less is compared to the data rate of arriving packets for example here two packets are arriving in one second and this link can support one packet at a at uh, in one second so it means that when two packets arrive one packet will be stored and one will be, packet will be transmitted okay so this giving occur why when the arrival rate of the packet it are bits are it is more as compared to the outgoing link bandwidth outgoing link bandwidth so the packets may are may be queued okay so this queuing it can introduce delay why because if a packet this packet is arrived and there are some packets in the queue so it will be inserted in the queue so it will wait until the these packets are move are transmitted then its turn will then it the, uh, then it will be, uh, then its turn will uh, uh, then, then it will get a turn okay so therefore there is so the more the packets in the queue the more delay for the incoming packet okay and second thing is that this queue it is stored in a memory these packets they are stored in memory in a buffer and this buffer this memory this queue memory or this buffer its space may be limited for example 10 gb 10 mb okay so if the packets they are stored and the whole memory whole queue is occupied the memory is full and more packets arrive what will happen what will happen for example if a cup of water it has a capacity for example 10 ml 10 milliliter water can be stored in a uh, can be uh, accommodated in a, a cup and if the cup is full and you put more water what will happen they will be dropped so similarly if the queue is full and more packets arrive then these more packets will be dropped they will be discarded they will be lost they will be lost okay so the queuing occurs if arrival rates exceeds to the link exceeds the transmission rate of the link for example there are two packets arriving and the, this outgoing link it can support one packet at a time and if the queue is full then uh, then what will happen the, the packet will queue and it will wait to transmit on the link it, it will wait to its turn and if the queue is full then the packet can be dropped the packet can be lost because this queue the packets are queued in a memory in a buffer and if this buffer is full then what will happen the incoming packet will be dropped discarded so the packets are lost so okay so we have discussed that when a packet when there are three packets waiting in the queue and this is the first packet and this link become free when this link become free then this packet will be transmitted so this is called transmission delay transmission delay means moving the packet from the router to the link and it depends on the link bandwidth the link bandwidth the more the link has bandwidth the more data can be transmitted in one second this is called transmission delay so it happens second is queuing delay for example this packet is waiting for the queue in the queue so this until its turn becomes when I mean, its turn uh, when it gets its turn then it will be transmitted so before transmission it is stored in the queue it is stored in the queue so it is waiting for its transmission so this time that it is waiting in the queue for its transmission this is called queuing delay and this queuing delay it depends on the queue length that how many packets are ahead in the queue for example here this packet is it's queuing delay zero why because it is not transmitting there is no packet ahead in the queue and this uh, yellow packet it has one packet delay why because it is waiting for this packet this packet to transmit the first packet 
and this third packet it has to wait for two packets why because one packet is transmitting and one packet is in the queue so it has to wait and if this packet arrive so it will wait for three packets one packet is transmitting one packet two packets are in the queue so the queuing delay it depends on the queue length and the already packet stored in the queue okay so this this is uh, the buffer space so now discuss that we know that when a packet is transmitted from the source to the destination so it takes time delay so this delay can be this delay why this delay happens occur this delay is four types it happens due to these four components processing delay queuing delay transmission delay and propagation delay let's discuss each component in detail processing delay means what does it mean that when this packets arrives this the bits of this packets are arrived this packet is arrived so then this router when these bits are arrived it, they, they are stored until the whole packet is arrived when the whole packet is arrived then this router checks the packet that checks the packet for what for maybe for bit error or may it checks that what is its source address what is its destination address and when it checks the source and destination address then it checks okay for this destination address which is the best path which is the best link so all this needs processing time okay so this is called processing time when the packet is arrived and the router check the packet that what is it what is its address where it should be forwarded so all this is this is called processing to process the packet okay and this processing delay it depends on the processor speed that what is its processor speed for example this is the uh, pentium 1 system and you have installed the skype and you have 10 gb link 10 gb internet speed okay but you but when you talk on the voice and the skype its speed will be very slow why because this processing power is slow on this system but if you have core i7 and you have 10 gb link then your transmission will be within within millisecond microsecond why because this skype is to be run on the system and it takes it depends on the processing speed so nowadays the processor they are high speed core i7 core i9 and so on so on so on so therefore this processing delay is very very less it is less than millisecond it is very less okay the second is called queuing delay when the packet arrives the the router processes that okay what is its packet where it is coming from where it should be uh, uh, forwarded where it is moving uh, toward uh, the destination and so on so after this processing for example this packet should be forwarded on this link so okay so and it is moved on this thing but already there are three packets in the queue okay so it will be inserted in the queue so this is called queuing time the time it will wait for these three packets when these three packets are transmitted then its turn will arrive then it will get its turn okay so the time a packet wait in the queue till its transmission this is called queuing delay and it depends on congestion level of the router it depends on the queue length it depends on the queue length okay so this is the node for example packet is arrived so when the router process the packet and move the packet to the outgoing link this is called node processing delay okay and now the the packet is waiting in the queue when it's get its turn this is called the queuing delay queuing time okay the next is transmission delay transmission delay means when the packet is to be transmitted the packet it gets a turn to transmit for example this packet but this packet it should be transmission means moving the data from router to the link moving the data from router to link 
this is called transmission data and how much data can be moved at a time from router to link it depends on the link bandwidth and the link bandwidth okay so the transmission delay it can be computed by l by r l means load r means bandwidth okay so the transmission delay it depends on the size of the packet and on the bandwidth of the link so if the packet is of small size it will take less transmission delay if the packet is a if the link is has more bandwidth then it will have less time okay and when the packet is is transmitted it is moved from the router to the link now the packet moves it propagates through the link so it takes some time to move the packet from here to here from one link from one end of the link to another end of the link this is called propagation delay and it depends on its moving speed that how fast it is moving and it depends on the length of the link the the length of the link okay so it can be computed by d by s normally the propagation the signal it propagates in a microwave it is a wave and the wave speed is 2 to the power 2 into 10 raised to h 10 to the power h so it is 2 into 10 to the power 8 milli per second so the speed is fixed but the length of the link it depends for example here the link is 2 meter here it is 10 meter okay so the propagation delay can be computed like this way so from this slide you can come to know that why a packet gets delay so the packet delay it depends on processing speed processing delay of the source node the routers and the destination node and the queuing delay it depends on the queue length at each router for example here are two packets in the queue here maybe five packets in the queue uh, uh, and maybe here there is no uh, packet in the queue okay and the th third when the uh, is the transmission delay transmission delay means when to move the data from router or from computer system to the link from computer system to the link or from the router to the link okay this is called transmission delay and this transmission delay it depends on the packet size and the bandwidth of the link the bandwidth of the link and when the packet comes on the link and then it moves from one end of the link to the another so it depends on the moving speed which is fixed to the power 8 millisecond uh, meter per second and it depends on the link of the length of the link the length of link okay so you should again much be clear the transmission delay and propagation delay they are totally two different things transmission delays the time it takes to move the data from interface card of a router to the link or from the interface card lan card of the pc over the link this is called transmission delay and it depends on the size of the link uh, of the packet or the bandwidth of the link and when the packet comes on the link then it moves from one end to another end so this is called propagation delay we will discuss them through an an example okay so let's discuss this to make it clear so we are going to uh describe them through an analogy okay for example we have 10 cars okay and this 10 car they belongs to a car one okay so each car is considered as a bit for example here there are 10 bits 10 cars 10 car means 10 bits and car one is one packet one car one is one packet so this is one car one one packet okay suppose this tool plaza this is a tool booth okay and this is another tool booth the distance between these two tool bit it is a there is a road and they are connected and the length is 100 km they are their distance is 100 km 
okay and suppose this tool plaza it can process one car in 12 second that is it can move the car to the link it can move the car to the link in 12 second so this is the 12 second is transmission delay this is the transmission delay okay so as we are discussing packer switching so packer switching is using store and forward okay so how long it will takes to move this packer to this or this link to this router this tool plaza they are routers and this is the, the roads they are links and this is the packet single packet okay so how much will be transmission delay transmission delay means that the last bit the last car of the packet it is move over the link it is moved over the link so is each car takes 12 seconds transmission delay okay so one first car will be transmitted in 12 seconds second car will be transmitted over the link in 24 seconds third will be in 36 until the 10th car the last car it will be transmitted in 120 seconds it will take 120 seconds to transmit 10 cars over the link from to process from this to plaza okay so it will take 120 second okay so when well, when the first car for example you can see that when the first car it is transmitted for when the first car will be processed in 12 second in the 12 second the first car will be moved from over the link when it comes on the link then it moves it moves toward the second tool both okay so how much time it takes it takes one hour why because the length is the distance is 100 kilometer and its moving speed is suppose uh, it, it is a the moving speed is a suppose uh, 100 kilometer per hour so if the moving speed is 100 kilometer per hour so it means that it will take one hour okay so you can see that when first car arrives at second tool booth at the second tool booth when the first car arrives so you can see that the first car it will be transmitted in 12 seconds why because it takes 12 seconds to transmit this car from the tool booth to the link okay so in 12 seconds it is transmitted and then it takes one hour so it takes how much time one hour and 12 seconds this first car will arrive so this first car will arrive when it will arrive in after one hour and 12 seconds the second car it will arrive after one hour and 24 seconds and so on and so on okay so when the first car arrives will it be forwarded when the first car arrives will it be forwarded what do you think no it will not be forwarded why because the packer switching is used store and forward this 10 car they are one packet they are belong to one car one so when one car arrives it will be stored until all 10 car arrives whole packet arrives the whole car one arrives so this first car it will wait it will not be processed it will wait until the 10 car arrives whole car one arrives whole packet arrives this is called store and forward okay so the packer switching is using store and forward okay so it will not be forwarded why it will be store and forward we are using packer switching and it uses store and forward concepts and it will store the bits of the packet until the whole packet is arrived okay so how long it will wait and how when will whole car arrive so you can see that there are 10 cars so it will takes and each car is transmission time is 12 second transmission time is the tool both moves the car from this link to this link the okay so the car is moved on this link it takes 12 second one car 
so if one car takes 12 second then how long it will take for 10 cars so the 10 car it will takes 120 second so the last car the 10th car it will be moved on this road on this link after 20 120 second and after 120 when it comes on this link then from here to here it takes one hour so the last car will arrive after one hour and 120 second okay so so you can see that the 10th car it will arrive after after how much time it will arrive in one hour and 120 seconds so 120 second is two minute okay and one hour is 60 minutes so it will take 62 minutes okay so i think from this concept we are clearing the transmission delay transmission delay means that here this packet this car one it has 10 bits and each bit can be transmitted in 12 seconds so okay so it means that 120 second will be taken transmission time to move this car or this link to move this packets this packet one packet of 10 bits of 10 car uh, one car one of 10 car or this link so it takes 120 second when the last bit of the packet it is moved on this link then it takes time to propagate and this time is one hour so it means that it will reach to this board the whole packet will reach to this board in 62 minutes one hour and 120 second okay now let's describe it in more detail okay suppose what we suppose that the propagation speed the moving speed is 1000 km per hour so this 100 km will be covered in how much time it will be covered in how much time what do you think it will be covered in how much time it will be covered in how much time okay so it means that it can be covered in uh, 100 divided by 1000 so it is uh, uh, um, uh, you can see that it is will be uh, uh, it will be covered in how much time in seven okay so if you divide it okay so you can see that it takes one minute it takes suppose tool both now takes one minute to serve a car one minute to transmit the car over this link and the car is moving with the 1000 km per hour so 100 divided by 1000 so it will give six minutes okay so one minute is transmission time okay so six minute is the propagation time so the first car arrives in seven minutes okay but when the first car arrive it will not be processed why it will be stored until the whole packet is arrived why because we are using store in forward okay so now we are going to discuss another important uh, concept another important concept and that is related to queuing delay okay so before discussing this slide i would like to explain it through an example okay suppose suppose this is a scenario here we have two senders host a and host b they are sending data to these routers these sorry this destination and their data is passing through this router okay so there is one router and suppose this router has a buffer and this is the outgoing link and its bandwidth is 10 mp r link capacity it is 10 mp suppose r okay so suppose one packet is transmitted per second host a and host b they are transmitting one packet in one second one packet in one second okay so it means that and suppose the packet size is 
1 MB. The packet size is 1 MB. Okay, so if one packet is transmitted, so 1 MB and 1 MB, it is a 2 MB. So 2 MB data arrives and the link bandwidth is 10 MB. So when this 2 MB arrives, so the data rate is less than 10 MB. So it will be immediately transmitted. There will be no, there will be not stored in the queue. Okay. Similarly, if the data rate is increased, suppose they are sending the packet size is 2 MB. Okay, so it means that host A is sending one packet in one second, host B is sending one packet in one second. So in one second, two packets are coming and each packet is 2 MB. So it means that 4 MB data arrives on this router. And this link is 10 MB. So this 4 MB will be directly transmitted. They will not be stored. They will not be stored. Okay. Until and unless suppose that now suppose that now the packet size is 5 MB. Packet size is 5 MB. So 5 MB means that the host A is sending one packet and host B is sending one packet. So in one second, two packets arrive. And each packet is 5 MB. So it means that it will be 10 MB. So 10 MB data arrives, so they will be transmitted and the 10 MB link because the link bandwidth is 10 MB, so there will be no waiting. So the queue is free. But suppose when the packet size is 10 MB, so it means that and two packets arrives. So each packet is 10 MB. So it means that 20 MB data arrives. But the link is 10 MB. So 10 MB will be transmitted and 10 MB will be stored in the queue. Okay. So 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 you can see that when the first batch of the packets arrives, for example, P1A, P1B. P1A is the packet from host A, and P1B is the packet from the host B. Suppose the first batch of the packet arrives. Okay, so you can see that each packet is 10 MB, 10 MB. Okay, so the first packet will be transmitted. For example, P1 packet, P1A will be transmitted. P1A will be transmitted and P1B will be stored in the queue. Okay, so you can see that in the second second, in the second page, when P2A and P2B arrives, so they will find P1B in the queue because P1B is already in the queue. Okay, so this will be in the queue. So they will wait. So the second batch will wait for one second. Second batch will wait for one second. Okay, so lambda out means throughput. They have this throughput. So you, you can see that when we are sending one MB data, so one MB will be moving on. When we increase the two MB, so the two MB is moving on. So two MB is the throughput. When we increase the up to five MB, so five MB data is moving. But when we send 10 MB, then not 10 MB sent because only the one packet will be transmitted and one packet is stored in the queue. So the first batch, they the first batch, the first packet is not waiting. It is immediately transmitted and the second pay, packet waits. But for the second batch of the packets, the first packet they, they have to wait for the first packet. Okay. So similarly, when the subsequent packet comes, so they have to wait. They have to wait. Okay, so this is so from this example, what we can see that uh, when the packet arriving, okay, in this slide, when we increase the traffic, the when the packet arriving rate is greater, then they will have experience more delay, more queuing delay. This is the packet size. This is the arriving rate of packets. For example, one packet is arriving or two packets are arriving and R is the bandwidth of the link. So if this ratio is closer to zero, so it means that queuing delay will be small. But when it is greater than one, then there will be queuing delay. And when it is more than one, very large than one, then there will be more delay in the queuing delay. Okay, so I think it is now clear to you about the queuing delay and about these things. Okay, so now we are going to, there is a, you know, there are different utilities, different applications available. Okay, and we will discuss them throughout this book. Traceroute is a program, it is an application that is available in Linux and Windows free. 
and this test route is used to find the delay from source to destination that how much it takes to move the data from source to destination but it also finds that when the your data is moving from source to destination then from which router is it is processing and for to each router how much is delay for example delay from here to first router delay from here to second router delay from here to third router delay from here to fourth router delay from here to fifth router and delay from here to source to destination this is already developed and we will discuss in chapter number five that how this application can be developed okay so you must have to try this application it is freely available okay so when the packet last so the packet is last when the packet gets full when the packet get when the queue if the queue is full and more packet arrive then they will be last okay so they will be last so throughput means that how much data can be transmitted in one second this is called throughput okay so suppose this is the server they are sending data to the client and this is passing through uh, one router through one link and two link first link and sec second link suppose this is the capacity of the first link this is the capacity of first link and this is the capacity of second link okay so suppose that if this server is sending data to the client and it is passing through this link and this link the bandwidth is of this link is 10 mb and the bandwidth of this link is 15 mb so what should be the throughput how much data will be received by the receiver it will be received 10 mb because it is sending 10 mb 10 mb data so it will be received 10 mb suppose this link is 15 mb and this link is 10 mb so here 15 mb data is transmitted but here 10 mb will be sent so ultimately the receiver is receiving 10 mb data per second okay so the it means that the link on the path which has the least bandwidth that will be the throughput that will be the data rate on which there is ultimate it will be received to the receiver okay and this link is called bottleneck link bottleneck link the bottleneck link is a link on the path which has the lowest bandwidth and according to that bandwidth the data rate will be received at the receiver okay so bottleneck link okay and sometime a link is shared by multiple sources okay so a link is shared by multiple among multiple users okay so uh, in today's class we have discussed delay throughput and these things i think it will be clear to you okay so by so and so this class now ends okay